<laughs> my father's hands didn't build this company. My hands didn't build this company. Through hard work and a little bit of luck, we built this business. Why are you demonizing us for it? The New Hampshire union leaders John DeSato did a little digging and discovered Gilcrest actually may have gotten more than just a little help from the government. In 1999, Gilcrest Metal received $800,000 in tax-exempt revenue bonds issued by the New Hampshire Business Finance Authority. His company received a U.S. Small Business Administration loan totaling somewhere south of $500,000 in the late 1980s. You got a business. That, you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. Wow, well, these two girls beg to differ. They built their lemonade business not only without government help, but without any help. Hey, well, who helped you start this business? Our investors, who, were, who are our dad and our stepmom, along with some other friends and family, including our brother. If you were successful, somebody along the line gave you some help. I know that you recognize a lot of people help you in a business. There was a great teacher somewhere in your life. Your school teachers. Government research created the internet so then all the companies could make money off the internet. There are a lot of people in government who, who help us and allow us to have an economy that works. Somebody invested in roads and bridges. People to build roads. If you got a business. You really couldn't have a business if you didn't have those things. You didn't build that. You Olympians, however, know that you didn't get here solely on your own power. For most of you, loving parents, sisters or brothers encouraged your hopes. Coaches guided, communities built venues and organized competitions. All Olympians stand on the shoulders of those who lifted them. We've already cheered the Olympians. Let's also cheer the parents, coaches and communities.